Today in our 2008 Toyota Sienna, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Draw Tight Class 2 trailer hitch receiver with the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Part number is 36513. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, we're going to have a cross tube all the way across the rear there, meets up at the center section in our inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. The reinforcement collar around the end there is going to help provide some additional support here at the back and you'll see our plate style safety chain connection points here. Those are going to have nice large openings in them. Should have no issues getting whatever style of safety chain you choose to use connected. Now the hitch has a half inch pinhole. It's going to work out really well with class two accessories. Looks like we're going to have the room on each side to do hitch pins and clips, locking hitch pins and even anti rattle devices as long as we stay away from the ones that are really large in diameter. You'll see we've got about a half inch or so from the bottom of our pinhole to that place. So we want to keep them kind of on the narrower side. Now as far as tow ratings go, we've got a 300 pound tongue weight rating. So that's the maximum downward force we'll be able to put here at our receiver tube opening. And we're going to have a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's going to be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we've got loaded up. Of course, we need to check the Sienna's manual, see what its tow rating is, and we'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now a few measurements that are going to be helpful in deciding which bike rack, cargo carrier, or hitch ball mount might be the right choice for you will be from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. It's 11 and a half inches. Then from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about three and a half. Now to begin our install, we need to get our exhaust down and out of the way. What we're going to do is just take a support strap. You could use wire. I got a cam buckle strap here. Just going to run it from side to side underneath the exhaust. We'll tighten it up just a little bit to give us some support. That way we can control how far down our exhaust comes once we remove the hangers. Now we'll have two hangers here in the front. We've got one here on the driver's side and one here on the passenger side of the pipe. We want to spray those down with some lubricant. And then we'll have one right back here. Use a pry bar or a screwdriver, whatever we've got handy. This should give us enough room to get in there and work. Now we can take a look at our attachment points. We're here on the passenger side. This was our rearmost exhaust hanger. Just behind that, we're gonna have a weld nut here in the frame. Then we'll have two more, one here and one here. Now you can see these have some rust and some corrosion in them. So we want to use some penetrating oil. Really want to spray it up in there. You can use uh, you know, any kind of spray lubricant or spray penetrator that you've got. And just let that soak for a few minutes to really get in that rust and that dirt well and loosen it up for us. Now we're going to take our nylon tube brush. We want to clean our threads out really well so our bolts will thread into them. This is part number 814092. Now with an extra set of hands, we're ready to raise our hitch up into position. We just wanted to get that side over the exhaust first. We'll bring our side up. Then it's just a matter of threading in our bolts with the flat washer and lock washer right up into the weld nuts we cleaned out. Once we've got one started on this side and on the other side, we can just let our hitch hang while we get our other hardware started. Now with everything started, we'll take just a quick look. We want to make sure we've got our hitch centered. And then we can snug down our fasteners and torque them to the appropriate specifications. Those we can find in our instructions. And then we'll go through and get our exhaust put back into place. It's a good idea to use a little more lubricant here. This one in the rear is a little bit tougher to get flexed up, so I like to get it up there close. Just kind of use a screwdriver to pry down on it. We'll just pull our safety strap out of the way and our hitch is ready for use. 
And that'll complete our installation of the DrawTight Class 2 trailer hitch receiver, part number 36513 on our 2008 Toyota Sienna.